are a Peter fan, then you definitely want to watch this so you can come after me. If you are a Peter fan, you want to watch this so you can come after me because I'm going to show you fur that will make you purr. I will show you fur that will make you purr. Oh my goodness, you've never seen anything like this before. Help me to like and share the live. Peter put Michael Vick in jail. They're gonna now come after me. You heard what I said. They put Michael Vick in jail. They're now going to come after me. And we shall get going. What the fuck is this? Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm on the hook. Do you see Yako? Do you see Leon? Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, <laughs> so I called him about eight o'clock last night, and uh, I asked him to uh, 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 be on this call, and he promised me, he promised me, absolutely promised me, that he would be on the call. And I'm dialing him, and he's not answering. So maybe he will uh, answer the call. Okay. Um, let me turn the camera around. Think I've seen it. Okay. What would you like to see first? Joe we'll Messi, we'll 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 Sorry? We'll do the appetizer instead. We'll do the appetizer instead of the main course. You want to do the appetizer? Could we go my hawk sixteen? Okay, so you. Tanga chan, tanga chan, moping thaya. So you've asked me to make you this baby here, correct? Yes. And so, what is this fabric? Is it? Uh, it's not charuti alpaca. But is this is this what Piacenza bought of uh, Chiruti? No, it's uh, no, it's not Chiruti fabric. I think it's. Ooh, I can't remember. Did I send you a label for it? I don't remember. Uh, I can't uh, uh, remember, but this is, and this is not the pure cashmere from the row. Yeah, I think I think it is, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's try it on. Here's Manny. Well, you have a poor memory because yes, it is 100% pure cashmere produced for the row. This is why I really wanted Jay on this call. It is just sick. The fabric. To give an audience the idea, the original brief, hey, man. the original idea was a sweater knit cardigan. Okay? Uh, knit 100% pure cashmere, made for the luxury brand The Row. The Row is a qu quiet luxury United States brand, akin to the United States light version of Brino Cuccinello. A sweater such as this would be 3000 US dollars. Actually, founders, head company, American Ashley Olsen, a full house. I know what full house is. Anybody else know what full house is? It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the cursed one, right? I'm the idiot who spent $2 million on a United States education. They are legit. Of course they are legit. John Stamos is legit. It's 2023. John Stamos is still legit. My daughters know who Uncle Joey is, okay? You know, you know what I'm saying? Right? Patch pockets, label included, edge trim not provided. This is something that we did during the consultation where we came up with the edge trim for you. Uh, and it wraps around to the inside of the garment. We'll take a look at that in a sec. With or without whip stitch within the trim edge. Take a look at the trim edge. Button closures and labels for both projects in the box. Got you. Double up on the fabric on the inner shell to give more structure and heft. First of all, let's look at the inner shell. I mean, it is fucking sick. Don't you think oh, so? Look at that. So look well at the way done. he's constructed. Man, he did a great job. He has fucking nailed it. So this is all... No, you can't see well. I mean, no, now you can. It's black Shanghai Tang, organic yes. silk, uh, 
All of it is black Shanghai Tang, organic silk. You're familiar with the brand Shanghai Tang? It was started by Sir David Tang here in Hong Kong. Eventually expanded everywhere. He had a shop on Madison Avenue. I don't know if you know that exists anymore. Wow, bro, it is like, it is like a sponge. It is so, it's like, it's a rug. Oh my goodness, it is like a rug. Here is what we used for the inner lining, the black Shanghai Tang. I think oh, it's just gone, beautiful. it's just gone perfectly with it. Bro, it is a coat for the emperor, seriously. Whichever emperor you want to, <laughs> you want to beautiful. use, yeah, you want to use Genghis Khan, you want to use Alexander the Great, you want to use Caesar, you name it. It is a coat for the emperor. Okay, I'm in. Call I'm a legal face. I'm legal face. These are the buttons. Yes. That are yet to be put on. It'll be this facing. Okay, the more interesting facing as opposed to that. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Legal face. Okay. How far do you get the lower? If I buy that jump, it's not. Okay, because of the construction of the buttons, he's unable to pin them to the jacket right now. So we're going to just use some perception. Maybe Tarzan can tape the buttons on. Do you want to grab some scotch tape in the meantime? Are you okay with us putting some scotch tape on this fabric? Of course. Come and help, guys. Okay, so forget, just focus on the top button because it's going to be six. Okay, we're just putting some buttons here. Go ahead, give me that. Just put that there for perception. We're just putting that there for perception. Yeah, so the last one will be there. The last one will be there, okay? Lined up with the bottom of the pocket edge, okay? Right, I think that's a right. good perspective. That's a good mark. Any lower, probably a bit too low. Any higher than the two of them, the two of them are different levels, right? So I think that makes sense that we line up the last button with the edge of the pocket. You can see? Absolutely, yes. Okay, great stuff. And then the top button is up here, exactly where it should be, correct? And then we'll space the other four evenly in between. Absolutely. Okay, great stuff. Everyone let go of the buttons. Excellent. The fitting, I think, is perfect. Okay, we're about the same size. If I, if I remember, this knit is very airy. Uh, Manny should use his judgment whether he should use the backing button, a small backing button, to make sure it stays secure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, we can address that at the next fitting. Okay. Um, yeah, well, when he puts it on, because uh, the material is very airy and light. I don't know what thread might pull off if you. Yeah, you guys can do your stuff. Can you tell me how to do this? How to do this? Yeah. This is a small thing. How to do this? 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 He said leave it in and don't sweat anything. Okay? I don't sweat anything with you guys. So I think this is just brilliant, right? The correct size, the correct length, yes. the correct everything. Are we good? Manny did great. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so you've got the right amount of room in the sleeves to wear underneath, wear anything underneath. It's very emperor-like. Right. Of course, my arms are longer than you. You've got the, the Chanel S trim all the way around, around the bottom, the back of the bottom, down the front of the, uh, the cardigan, around the sweaters. You've got the Beautiful. patch pockets. The inside of the patch pockets are fully lined in the Shanghai Tang, as you can oh, see. Oh, look at that. So yeah, and bro, I mean, it's just, have you felt this fabric yet? Or you just drop shipped it to me? Oh, no, no, I picked this out. I, I walked thousands and thousands of bolts of fabric, and I said, I want to work with this. And then I worked backwards, working with the fabric, then figured out what to make with it. So even if you don't wear it, you can lie on it. It is, it is that soft. It is just incredible. Yeah. It is absolutely incredible. And hats off to the row for making something as incredible as this, okay? Yeah, so, I, I think when we did the consult, somebody uh, chimed in with a uh, text that actually they saw something like this for about four grand from them. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're up there. We're absolutely up there. Okay, ready for the main course? Oh, yes. Who would like to bring it out? I wish Jay, I, I wish Jay was for this. He's an idiot. I called him last night, he guaranteed me. We spoke, he guaranteed me that he'd be on the uh, phone with me. 
with with us. I told him it's something that he doesn't want to miss. Any pizza lovers watching, anybody who knows any pizza lovers, you better get them on uh, uh, the line right now. Who wants to unveil it? Tell us and go ahead, unveil it. Do whatever you want to do. How about your stuff? <clears throat> Fuck this. This oh, motherfucker. Probably a first. Among many, but a real first. I need a proper place to hang this, you know what I mean? This is the most incredible motherfucking <laughs> thing. You don't understand how soft this is. The hairs. They're like fucking panda hairs, bro. You know what? Let's Look just fucking that. say we 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 killed a panda for you, brother. This is a Chinese yeah. panda. An absolute Chinese panda. It, it is amazing. Go Keta go you know. So these are the skins that you send us, the hides, yep. the hides of the sheep, here's the fur, <laughs> and there's the yeah, leather Marino, underneath, yep, Marino, here's another hide. Marino, Wall yep. I can either send this hide back to you, okay, or we can hang on to it and maybe Tarzan can make a, a hat out of it for you, I don't know. <laughs> you, you think about what you want. But it is such an incredible jacket. Manny has or just... May, or, may, or maybe someone like Danielle or someone else that isn't squeamish about using it, they can use it for trim on something. I yeah. can be donated. It, it is beautiful, okay? This is the actual color of the sheep. The actual, this is not dye. This is the actual color of the sheep. So you've sent me different heights. You've sent me these glorious buttons. I'm fucking scared to even fuck with this thing. This is higher. This is crazy. You can't, you can't. I'm fucking scared. Yeah, yeah. If Jay has something like this, it looks like a holy oh, mammoth. Okay. okay, so see, how he's, okay. So see how he's done the buttons. Can you see how they lock in look here? Lock in inside of the leather. 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 And the two-way zipper. zipper Industrial, like, just like you want it. So then what he's done is this is all the the, the 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 hide itself the under the under part of it yes. okay in this case i'm using the other yeah and then this is some of the leather that he's trimmed off okay look at this just sexation and then to cover the seams he's used the fur again so he's gone back ahead and used the fur to cover the seams all right and it's unlined so you can appreciate the actual hide yeah. Bro, you better wear this every fucking day during the winter. You know, so it's winter there now. You don't need another jacket. You have the, the, one of the greatest jackets. Holy shit. Look at this. What do you think, brother? You there? Um, Is he dead? Bringing vision to life and it's absolutely beyond sick. It is sick, right? Get this. You know, sometimes it's, you know, a type of Wait, wait, wait. Is it free? <laughs> 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 this is the zipper you sent me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. 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 Hold it's always a pain that that was that has to lock into both zippers. So those th the positive is you can zip the uh, the bottom zipper up and easily go into a car. Yep, so I see Both side. Go for it, you go for it. I'm good with the double zippers, but they are they are tricky. Bro, this coat is just insane. It's fucking insane. There we go. I think he, I think he got it. Yeah, yeah, you have to lock into both. That's what the hassle of it is. Luckily, this is your zipper, not mine, bro. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> 
Ni mo si jo ni di lanin si jo hamama. Okay, so he said that he already tested it out and it was fine. Alright, we need WD forty. Okay, comes off no problem. Uh, let's we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay, let's not fuck with the zip too much. So you, we'll go, we'll fix the zip and we'll come back to you. So the buttons need in county go. So you dip the buttons in to the leather trim inside. Just push the button up. When See if I can push, do it. Push the button up. Dude, you are definitely the most interesting man. I can't do this shit. No, 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 no. You are definitely the most interesting man on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the door. 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 This is boss, right? I fucking love it. I love it. I like this little eye. The peak of the eye at the bottom. It's so fucking good. It's like a major fucking. Look at that. Bro, I'm like, you gotta enter the fucking boxing ring here. This is another Tyson Fury masterpiece. Seriously. And it is so soft. Goodness me. It is so soft. It is just incredible. Just another thing that if you don't wear it, you could sleep with it, brother. Seriously. Deck your partner in this and, and, and have sex with your partner in this. Seriously. Look at that. Sexational. Okay. Let, uh, do you have any questions? Not at all. I'm excited. Better undress me, Tazem. Even better than LV. Yeah, it's any, <laughs> Tazem himself saying, even better than Louis Vuitton, anything, right? It just doesn't exist. Hey, Tazem. Yeah, 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 so let's get the zipper fixed. Let's get those buttons positioned. It's a shame that uh, Jay missed this because he would be salivating, bro. Seriously, salivating. And then let's come back Great. to you uh, shortly uh, with the finale. Thank you. Thank you so much. All Andy, right, bro. Thank you, guys, everyone. Thank bye. you. God bless you. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care, brother. Bless you. Bye bye. Great. Bye. Okay, bus. I gotta just answer some questions and get started on this shit. Yeah, that was Vava va boom. Wow. I've never uh, worked uh, on on that level of fur before. It's just incredible, right? Uh, it's just incredible. So does anybody have questions? Like actually a proper uh, dialogue? Or is this going to be fucking uh, weird shit uh, again? Like it was the last few times. Dathan Kendall, no, I don't remember you. Danielle, yeah, it is an incredible piece. It is just psychotic, right? <laughs> Art stuff uh, just gets more and more uh, insane, right? I mean, he's just another level uh, of insane. That was panda fur. fur. No, I don't remember you either, Ethan Walsh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also have no words to express how phenomenally epic that quote, quote, quote is, uh, Lisa. By the way, Lisa wants me to remind you, so you can buy all my merch, my six different t-shirts, my six different sweaters, my underwear, and my caps on plentyofconsent.com. Uh, yes, Kyle, Art is just absolutely the king of kings. There's no guy like him. Let's just say a couple of hellos to Instagram, which is John Raposas. I've made him some amazing suits that fit him so well. Thank you for joining us. Danielle, calm. Thank you for being with us again today, Jason Mutant Beard. I wonder if I'll ever work with you or ever meet you, ever talk with you. Uh, uh, 
I want to say hi to a couple of people on Insta, uh, on TikTok. Lisa, of course, Danielle are uh, here as well. Art and Danielle watch me on both streams. They're amazing. Ryan Carpino, thank you for being with me every single day. I appreciate you. Three-piece suit or four-piece suit? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you start with a three-piece suit before deciding whether you want a four-piece suit or not? If you're a woman, you can have a five-piece suit, right? Or a six-piece suit. Uh, and stuff. You can have the jacket, the dress, okay? You can have skirt, trouser, shorts. And we can keep going. <laughs> Waistcoat, right? <laughs> What's the re I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Hello, Eugene. They're all scurrying to fix a zipper. Uh, I don't have a current jacket for sale. I don't have ready-made stuff. I don't know what is the boys come running to me at. Why are my suits a lot? My suits are 650 US dollars. I don't know, some of the weird, weird shit uh, that people say, yeah, they're scurrying to fix a zipper. Summer, I am very handsome. It's too bad you're a man, not a woman. The young Chinese boys are all locked in the dungeon. Uh, I won't let them out till later, till they really start pining for some air. Um, so this morning, since you're asking, I did pull-ups, dips, and handstands. Yesterday, uh, I did squats and sprints. I've already shown you the new dungeon. I've shown you the staircase up to the old dungeon. Uh, Grayson, are you seriously coming? Or are you just saying that? Uh, you know, if there were guns allowed in Hong Kong, I'd probably have them pointed at my staff. But we're not allowed to have guns here. So, I mean, you know, we're not the United States. There's the only place on the planet that you're allowed to have guns. That's why people shoot each other there, right? Uh... I'm not much of an inventor, actually. I, my, my job is to bring my client's vision to life, and I'm happy doing that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And my wanted man, very much so. Um, you know, when I uh, cheat on my partners, right, and I get caught, I tell them, actually, you should be happy that I'm so sought after. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I will only cheat on you with just a, a, a woman that looks fucking iconically gorgeous, right, which is the truth. So don't be upset that I've cheated on you. Be happy that uh, I'm so sought after and that you have me and this was just a cheat, but I'm still in a relationship with you, right? So am I a wanted man? Yes. Uh, tell your friend Kamil to come on over, but she has to purchase a suit. I don't know if it's she or he. Uh, cadet, you can come with all the consent you want. You still have to buy a suit. <laughs> Lexi, you're not the only one who needs me. There's a lot of people. Uh, who need me? Libby, is it Ibby or Libby? You better be a woman. Uh, uh, you can come with all the consent you want. <laughs> you still need uh, to purchase. Justin Waldem, I would love for you to talk further about that. Uh, what do you mean by cancel culture is scared of me? <laughs> are you complimenting me or are you being a dick to me? I would love to do another sleazy, oily Mexican. They need to show up and buy, right? I'm <laughs> just picking people and making them free suits. The amount of DMs that I get from kids everywhere saying, me next, please, can, can I be one of your models? I'm like, they're not fucking models. They're clients who have paid me. In Hong Kong right now, it is 10.26 a.m. Uh, you can buy a suit and then you could potentially make it to my TikTok, yes. Uh, that's fine, Ibi. As long as you're gorgeous, uh, I will take the other form of payment for a six-piece suit. Oh, oh. Uh, you could. Uh, I see you've got me blushing. Uh, your friend Kamala is a Lebanese boy. Uh, it's too bad he's not a girl. I don't know what skibbity is. Uh, I wish I was 32. You compliment me, Justin. I appreciate you. No, Jack. My jacket is hanging. I'm sitting in the store. I don't need to wear the jacket. Uh, I'm a pimp, but not in the prostitution way, right? Uh, <laughs> and stuff. Are you gorgeous, Ibi? Uh I think the fur is just badass, right? It's an absolute badass. 
Ollie, it's too bad that I'm not, um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not a homosexual, <laughs> but I appreciate your love. I mean that. You know what I mean, yes, you can be a man and love me too. There are many men who love me. I make suits for any type of person, any type of shoulder, any type of anything. Uh, I can only spank you <laughs> if, if you purchase a suit from me. I don't doubt, Nick, that Ibi is a dude. <laughs> Uh, my lapel pins, one is the, the, the proceeds from it go to first responders of COVID in New York. The other one is a gift. Uh, it's a, it's a diamond pin. You okay. Okay. My website is samstaylor.com, S-A-M-S-T-A-I-L-O-R.com. If you want to purchase suit, go to the website, samstaylor.com. If you want to purchase merch, go to plenty of consent. Dot com. I don't need more little Chinese boys. You don't need to turn into a little Chinese boy today just for me, right? I live in China. <laughs> Do you know how many young Chinese boys there in China? Uh, I hardly ever sleep. My, my eyes are burning. Jesus, my head is throbbing. This type of style, those military jackets are, are military jackets. It is... 10.28 a.m. for me. I was born in Hong Kong. Uh, Com, we can add a waistcoat to the new suit. Is that something that you definitely want? I am put together. You can be a Taiwanese Thai boy. You can be any type of boy. I don't give a fuck what type of boy you are. You have to pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to fucking pay. Uh... Uh, and that's pretty much it. The only fucking free shit that I do is this time every day with you guys. Uh, Devin Bonanno, you have to purchase a suit for a violation. Everything costs money, bro. Uh, yeah, we can definitely do a waistcoat comp. Um, I'll discuss that with you on, uh, on text later after the stream. The books behind me are client order books. I ha have very heavyweight fabric, medium weight fabric, normal heavyweight fabric, super heavy heavyweight fabric, four trench coats. Devin Bonanno, <laughs> it's because I'm fucking educated. You know what I mean? I'm not a degenerate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When 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 you don't spend your entire life spewing hate, um, then you actually learn. <laughs> uh, my Twitter is at Sam Taylor. Mm. Um, Tanner Zanford, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mason Gearhart, you can purchase that stuff on my Cameo. Uh, Cameo.com, Roshan Mawani. Uh, Jackson Trotchill, I'm in Hong Kong. Uh, Arjun Baduri, I am Cindy, 100% Cindy. Uh, I can make an extremely slutty suit, of course. A suit is 600 US, 50 US dollars. Um, I got into tailoring because I wanted to bring my client's vision to life. A suit is 650 US dollars. I don't actually count how many orders I get per week. Every week is different, every day is different. I make business casual outfits, of course. I'm actually working um, for a guy who works for TikTok. He lives in San Francisco. He's in Hong Kong right now. His girlfriend is gorgeous. Um, and he wants a suit for formal occasions, but which is cut very casually. So I know that's a complete oxymoron, but I completely got what he get. I completely understood what he wants, what him and his girlfriend want. And we're putting together something sensational for him. Uh, it won't be my best ever work, but I'm looking forward to making him very, very, very happy. Uh, and, you know, I'll update you on that once I'm done with him. So, Adam Noah, if you're coming to Hong Kong, you can work with me in person. If you're not coming to Hong Kong, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. I still have friends from college. I have a very good friend, Roy Chopra, who I went to NYU with, who comes to Hong Kong all the time, but of course couldn't be here for, during the four years that the pandemic was on. But he returned right after the, the borders opened up. He would Hong Kong, he's probably coming in March or April, and I made about 10 suits for him, and I, I 
presented all of them before I shook them. This is mine, right? Thank you. Your honor. <laughs> Thank you. More gifts uh, from organizations, Jesus. Um, so, and then, you know, another friend from NYU, this guy, Steve Factor. He has his own podcast. He does very well in the United States now. He worked for MasterCard for a long time. He just texted me the other day saying that he loves my uh, videos, you know, randomly out of the blue on, on, on Facebook Messenger. And then, you know, I think the other day as well, an uh, old fraternity brother of mine suddenly started a new Facebook group and started uploading old uh, photos of all of us and stuff. Yeah, so here and there I am. But I told, I've said it before, like, my life is for me and my children, right, and my clients. And I don't want to leak energy with friends. I'm not interested in friends. I don't want to leak energy. I don't want to be out partying shit. I don't want to do any of that fucking shit. I went out last time with my father because he needed me to accompany him to this HSBC Diwali cocktail and stuff. But fuck, did I want to be there? No, not, no chance that I want to fucking be there. I want to be the fuck. I want to be home with my children. I don't want to leak energy. I don't want to leak energy uh, and, and give it to people uh, and stuff and waste it. Right at my age, with everything that I do, I just you know I want to conserve it and expend it where it should be expended. If you can't understand that, there's no hope for you. But if you can understand it, then you get me. So keep the questions coming thick and fast. You know, obviously, I've missed your question. You can retype it again. You can give me all the consent you uh, you you want to. You can be 19, 20, 21, 18, 22, whatever the fuck it is. Um, you have to pay for a suit. I'm not opening any extension of my shop. Uh, I hope Rian gets picked. There's a match this Saturday, Sunday. I hope he gets picked. I think all my work is great. I, I don't have something that is my best work. From time to time, I do talk about it, but I can't just uh, bring it up off the top of my head. Uh, I appreciate you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Hello, Caitlin. Welcome back. Uh, no, you have to pay. You have to take a suit. I don't do. I don't just do violations. Violations are part of the service, but essentially, you've got to. Uh, you've got to purchase a suit. Best thing about Hong Kong are the taxes, the freedom, the lack of crime, violence. Right? I could go on and on and on. The worst thing about Hong Kong. Is how fucking expensive it is, <laughs> right? I think you should fuck her mother as well, Adam. So you, know, I think the reason she's not letting you talk to the girl is because she wants to fuck you. So if you fuck her mother and make her mother happy, then you can have the girl as well. I was in teak, tall cap, absolutely. I guess I still am, right? Uh, yeah, Adam, you just fuck her, basically, right? Fuck the mother and we're all good. Have I done a mother-daughter? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever done a mother-daughter, but that's something to do, right? Shit. Uh, I'm not really into to big asses uh, and stuff. It's not really my thing. I, I love humidity. I love heat. So yeah, you're, you're, you're preaching to the wrong person if you're, if you're dissing heat and humidity. Guys, do me a favor, keep the questions of discussion coming thick and fast. Repeat your questions if I miss them by accident, but don't leave me hanging. I don't like cold climates, I don't like the cold at all. Most important person was probably the three presidents, Jamie, Bob, but yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think you get more important than a president. Did I get hazed at a fraternity? Doesn't everybody get hazed when they're pledging? Uh, I Orta Yato, you can buy that sort of stuff on my cameo. Do I work with the police, like directly with the police? No. Have I worked with police officers? Yes. Teak was great. I just did it for the sake of doing it. My favorite Bollywood movie is Kabi Alvada Na Kena. Do I like Chinese or Hispanics more? I, I like neither. I like Indians. You I mean I'm very tribalistic? Uh, and, and, and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, there's too much watering down of culture uh, in this era. Uh, there's to, too much, like, rubbing out of boundaries and stuff, and uh, that's not really my thing. Do I like Israel? I've never really, I've never ever been there. I have a lot of Jewish clients. Um, 
most of them are not from Israel specifically, uh, but uh, I've never been to Israel. This is a champagne bottle up there, Berkeley Co. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Uh, my father has worked with Jean Chrétien as well as Prime Minister Mulroney. Uh, Colby, come on over. I mean, the parties were shit. The, the fraternity parties at NYU were garbage. Were utter shit. Why the fuck would I mean a fraternity party? It was, it was garbage. Uh, England or Wales? I've never been to Wales. I've been to England. So I take England. Um, and I think the only great things that I know about Wales are Gareth Bale, Mark Hughes, and Ryan Giggs. And then the gay rugby player that came out. Gareth, was it Gareth Thomas? Am I mistaken? Uh, I, 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 I don't watch reality trash like Indian matchmaking. My suits are 650 US dollars. Um, I, I'm too young to retire. Uh, Israel or Palestine? I don't think I've been asked that question before. Maybe I've been asked about a thousand times. I actually don't care, right? Uh, it really doesn't make a difference to me. It's it's not it's not uh, my my fight. Um, so nothing to do with me. Um, did I have an arranged marriage? No, actually far from it. Um, would I ever have had had arranged marriage? Yeah, I don't think it's an issue. I think Westerners, and I mean Westerners, right? We're talking about everybody like west of Israel. <laughs> Israel is Europe, right? But even they would understand arranged marriages. And, and, and just white Anglo-Saxon people don't. I don't understand why. At NYU, I did finance and economics. My degree's here, up here on the wall. I've worked with Lebanese clients. I've worked with every type of clients. You think arranged marriages are not common in China? My goodness, how wrong are you? Are you a Chinese person saying that? Uh, Brand Dof, you can definitely visit me here in Hong Kong, but only visit me to purchase a suit, right? There's no point coming to my shop and trying to milk me for a photo and stuff. It's not happening, right? I'll openly say and, and harshly say and sadly say, right? That no, I'm, I'm not that type of uh, person and stuff, right? I'm only taking photos and videos of people who actually work with me and stuff. Uh, I wish, call me Ayush, <laughs> that Shah Rukh Khan approached me. I do not miss anything about New York City whatsoever, ever, 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 ever. You know what I mean? Like, I had a great time there, but I couldn't wait to get the fuck out. Uh, congratulations, Gavin. No, I mean, you're not getting anything from me unless you purchase a suit. It's simple as that. What made, I leave, made me leave New York? Number one, the cold. Uh, let's just leave it there. That's pretty much it. Do I use product in my hair? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wine soundtrack, I can't wait to see you again, man. I don't like boys. <laughs> it's something that you still need to get through your head. I don't really care if New York is considered the fashion capital of the world, right? It, it was uh, uh, n nothing to do uh, uh, with me. Uh, I never extolled the virtues of Manhattan in any way, nor did I say that Manhattan was akin to New Yorkers, etc., etc. These are not my words. Uh, I make a lot of crazy suits. Every week there's a crazy suit going on. Uh, I think my dad likes women just like me, but he's far more conservative than I am. Good luck to you, Justin Choi. Justin, Justin, it's such, I, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, <coughs> New York was so fucking cold and so inhibitive and so like not convenient like Hong Kong that I never explored, right? Just not conducive uh, to someone in the 1990s uh, like myself. I don't think I found anything special in Manhattan. I mean, I don't know why is that so difficult to understand. Yes, I discovered super clubs and amazing clubbing and yuppie clubs and great clubbing and, and, and great stuff and whatever, right? But. I found that everybody was trying to be somebody else. Nobody was trying to be them. And that's pretty much it, right? Like everyone was trying to fight to be somebody. 
or pretend to be somebody uh, and stuff and that nothing was genuine uh, 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 and that's that so so it was whatever I should be called Galactus I appreciate you JMH 53695 I should be called Galactus because I destroy planets Guys, I mean, the discussion is really waning, and I've been very uh, open with you guys. No, I'm not confusing New York and LA. LA is even fucking worse. Uh, Gavin, I, I don't know if you answered this, asked this question, but yes, I do make business casual outfits, make every type of uh, outfit. Galactus does suit me. I think Los Angeles is even worse. You can't even fucking walk. You're completely hamstrung if you don't drive. It, it, it's just it, it's, it's stu stupidity. Stupid fucking place. Uh, most stupidest fucking place I've ever been. HK versus Singapore is a tight um, contest, and I don't know. I've never lived in Singapore, right? So uh, uh, I I couldn't answer you that. But whenever I've been to Singapore, I I think it's a cracking city. I think it's just a phenomenal city. I think Hong Kong will always win because the taxation is only seventeen percent. Singapore is as expensive as Hong Kong in every ways. Uh, uh, so the only great point for me on a personal basis Singapore is summer all year long but not everybody wants that people want climates and Hong Kong offers you that I wouldn't be sad if anybody died uh, anybody on the stream I'm talking about right I only be sad if uh, my children died and that's pretty much it I mean you guys ask the most awful degenerate, disgusting, bottom dollar, you know, freak in, 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 in the basement sort of questions. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't understand who the fuck educated you, right? Seriously, like that you ask questions like this uh, and, and stuff. So it, it, it just, it, it just I, I don't know, I don't know if your parents know how you are inside, right? I, 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 I don't know, but there is no future for you. And the reason that people like me are successful, right? I mean, you could have successful people and degenerates, right? Pretty much it. It's because your, your, the bar that you set for yourself, your behavior is so low class, is so low class, right? That, that uh, you know, it's, it's just easy for people who are classy and work hard to succeed. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. And 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 one of the reasons I left the United States is that it, it is the melting pot for for this type of degenerate people. You know what I mean? Fifty percent of the population is. Where have you been, Josephine? Did you just come? No, I come. I uh, just you know bottom dollar freak in the basement basement degenerates. Uh, and, and, and and that's pretty much it, right? Just disgusting people. Um, I I I swear, swear to God, hate was born and emanates from the United States. Seriously, I, I've never seen another race talk as atrociously as Americans. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Breakfast, I had a couple of protein shakes and uh, two scrambled eggs, two bananas. So I, I worked in three different companies before I joined Sam Steele. I worked for a British law firm called Herbert Smith, an international law firm. I worked for a startup concierge service called Entrust Management that was in London. And I worked for, uh, for, a, start, I worked for a startup uh, online auction site called ibrax.com. Okay. To dry for me, let me say bye first to Instagram. I mean, you guys have had your chance. I totally keep the questions coming thick and fast. Uh, let me just see who's here still. If I recognize anybody. Cairo, how's it going, buddy? My first job, goodness me, is like when I was, well, my first job was at Sam's Taylor as a child. But, uh, 